Minimally invasive surgery is a way of performing procedures through tiny incisions in the anterior abdominal wall. We can do the same kinds of procedures that we used to perform through large open incisions using tiny cameras and small instruments that allows us to see everything in the pelvis and in the abdomen and use instruments to actually remove structures like the uterus, perform hysterectomies and uh, staging procedures for cancer that allow us to take better care of patients than we would have with a large open incision. There's a number of minimally invasive surgical options for patients treated for gynecologic conditions here at Hopkins. Those include conventional laparoscopy, where we perform the procedure through several small incisions in the anterior abdominal wall, usually three or four. There's robotic surgery, in which we can perform the same types of procedures uh, through the assistance of a robotic platform, again through three or four, or at most five incisions, all through the abdominal wall. Uh, the single site platform allows us to perform similar types of procedures through one incision through the belly button. These tend to be limited to more straightforward cases, but as we've grown more experience with using the platform, we're able to do increasingly complex procedures through a one small incision in, in the abdominal wall. The majority of our patients here at Hopkins undergo minimally invasive surgery for gynecologic cancers. Those include those with early stage uterine, cervical, and ovarian cancers that need surgical staging where we remove the organ that's involved and perform additional procedures to remove lymph nodes and other structures that might be involved with cancer. Minimally invasive surgery is an option for most, but not all patients with gynecologic cancers. For patients that have uh, disease that spread outside of the organ where the disease starts, especially diseases like ovarian cancer, an open approach is still the best way to get all of the cancer out. But for patients that have more limited disease, minimally invasive surgery really is the way to go in the majority of situations. The risks of minimally invasive surgery are very similar to those that you see with open surgery. Uh, those can include complications from any surgical procedure. However, they are generally lower than with open incisions. And there really are very few situations where a patient is at increased risk from minimally invasive surgery, especially in the hands of an experienced surgeon. The benefits of minimally invasive surgery are improved recovery time and decreased complications when compared to open surgery. It's important to also note that the outcomes as far as uh, treating the cancer are also equivalent between the two. So whenever possible, minimally invasive surgery is preferred because of the reduced complication rates with this technique. The need for chemotherapy or radiation after surgery is not generally dependent on the approach of surgery. That being said, when patients have minimally invasive surgery, they tend to recover better from the procedure or, and are able to get uh, onto their uh, post-operative therapy, if necessary, faster than if they had the surgery through an open technique. This is especially the case when complications arise. These are much less common with minimally invasive surgery, so it allows patients to get onto the, the treatment that they need to get uh, much faster. Recovery from minimally invasive surgery tends to be excellent. Patients are able to go home either the same day or the day after surgery, and they require usually very little pain medication for only a few days and are back doing normal activities within a few weeks of the procedure. Obviously, it depends on the extent of the procedure, but most patients are feeling fairly well within a few weeks. Gynecologic oncologists are capable of taking care of the full scope of, uh, of care for a patient with a gynecologic cancer. We're able to provide uh, preoperative counseling to allow patients to understand exactly what they can anticipate from surgery, whether that's a straightforward hysterectomy or 
if we have to do additional procedures like removing lymph nodes or other procedures in the operating room. Here at Hopkins, we also provide our own chemotherapy care. This provides seamless continuity for patients who uh, really need a team leader to take care of their conditions. So we can see a patient in the clinic, uh, offer them surgery, uh, arrange and provide chemotherapy for them afterwards and follow them in the years to come. Here at Johns Hopkins, we have a comprehensive program for providing all options for minimally invasive surgery for patients with suspected or known gynecologic cancers. We can provide uh, procedures for laparoscopy, robotics, single incision surgery, and we'll spend time to decide which approach is most appropriate for a patient so they receive optimal care.